What's up, everybody? You've probably heard a lot of hype about AI this year, but I'm, talk I'm here with Eric Sue of Single Grain, and we're going to talk about AI and marketing and where it's going. So, Eric, let's cut the BS. What is AI, and, and what, how do you apply to marketing? Keep it very simple, okay? So, as, as Sujin said, there's a lot of BS going around right now, and uh, as marketers, we like to cut through the BS and bring you um, kind of what's actionable and what you can actually use. So. AI is very simple. Just think of it this way. AI is pattern recognition, okay? So if you think about pattern recognition, when you think about how Google can identify or Facebook can identify, like, these are all images of Sujin, right? They're looking for patterns. Or how is it that Google can make a, can make a bot that can just learn uh, you know, AlphaGo in four hours and beat the, the, the best AI in the world and also beat the best player in the world, and they don't even need to really think about it? It's, well, because they look at patterns, they look at recognition, they use data, they train themselves against it, they look at data, and you're using that data to kind of make better business decisions that are going to help you grow faster. So how do you apply AI to marketing then? Yeah, so let's look at, okay, let's look at, uh, at advertising, for example. So in the next couple of years, like if, if we look at what our, our teams do or what kind of other um, paid media teams do uh, in marketing, there's a lot of people that handle optimizations, right? What's to say a machine can't spot patterns better than a human being can? They're going to be a lot faster, and they can make the optimizations a lot faster. And like I just mentioned a second ago, when using the example of AlphaGo or even chess, for example, when, when the AI uses when they play chess or they play AlphaGo, they actually do plays that a human being would never try. They, they do things completely unorthodox. Um, and when you think about AI with self-driving cars, they're not going to drive like human beings. They're going to drive around each other all the time. It's like almost like blood flowing throughout your system. So if, but my point of saying that is that artificial intelligence can look at data and make decisions faster. They can make better decisions, and they can do things unorthodox that a human being would never do, just based on so many different points that they have. So uh, optimizing ads would be a really good example of AI applying with marketing. Yeah, awesome. They try things that they may not, a human being may not try because of the experience says go mm -hmm. a different way or don't do mm -hmm. this, it's not worked in the past, mm -hmm. but they don't try a lot of different things. So that's awesome. Um, do you have any examples of like some great AI companies or tools or like things you're looking out for in, in, the, in the world of marketing? Yeah, so I'll, I'll go a little broader here. I, I just finished a book called AI Superpowers and it, it just talks about how the, the wide applications of AI. So the, the big companies that are handling, handling AI really well right now um, in America, so this is like a war between the US and China right now, it's an AI war. Um, you know, you look at Google, they're putting so much money into it, Amazon as well. Like if you go into the Amazon Go stores in Seattle, um, they have different um, sensors, right? Motion sensors, they have um, sensors that will look at your face. You know, in the future, they're gonna be able to uh, be able to say, hey, like, welcome back to the, the, the grocery store, Sujin. Um, here's what you ordered last time. And based on this wine, you should order this one next time. And then they'll have like a concierge walk, walk up to you. There's, there's so many applications, right? You look at, um, you look at Google, you look at Facebook, you look at uh, Amazon. Those are three really good, good companies. The US is good at kind of B2B AI, but they're in a really tough position right now to beat China. And uh, so you look at China, they have a lot more consumer data, right? If you look at um, the mobile devices, like people just purchase things, um, they give each other red envelopes, they buy movie tickets, all this different stuff in WeChat. So they have all the consumer data and people in China they kind of care a little less about privacy. So you have these two wars kind of forming right now. So I recommend like, if you're gonna think about AI broader, don't just look at the US. US is ahead right now in terms of B2B, but B2C, you gotta look at um, China and then kind of look at what you can do from, from, from you know, kind of copy and kind of steal from what the Chinese are doing and then make it your own. That's awesome. So I think one of the couple things you said that were really powerful, I think you can do now, regardless of the tools, the technology out there is, personalization, right? You said Amazon will come and, and potentially recognize you and say, here's what you bought before. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, they're using personalization for upsells, cross-sells, retention. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that, all that stuff will come, but those are all things you can do, any e-commerce business can do now. Um, you also mentioned um, omnichannel again, right? Mm -hmm. Like, okay, you've got offline, you've got Messenger, right? Mm -hmm. Facebook Messenger, there's, there's um, there's iMessage, you, there's apps you can create for that. So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't see many B2B companies or many companies really leveraging the iMessage platform, mm -hmm. uh, whereas 
you could have that as a as a where a blue ocean strategy. So I think there's a lot of different places where you can go. It's huge. I mean, now. even if you so it, the the my, my thesis in the future is every the, the best companies in the world are going to be the best like data companies, and if you look at the optimizations that you can make in terms of content as well, like like let, let's look at. Uh, Google, if they wanted to just have a bunch of different charts and like, you know, kind of 10x content produced about like all the different insights they have around different industries, they have all the data in the world and they're going to have AI that can just pump out that content. So content marketing is going to become, we're going to have, you think we have content overload right now, it's going to be even crazier in the future. That's awesome. Well, thank you for explaining AI and marketing in the future. I'm excited about seeing that in action and hopefully none of us have to compete with Google for our content. Yeah, data company. Well, stay tuned for more videos. Eric's going to stick around for more videos on how to grow your blog, build an agency, and a lot more topics that you're going to learn a lot of information from. So stay tuned. And uh, subscribe, comment, whatever you need to blow. <laughs> <laughs>